Over 70 million years ago, an unimaginable creature swam in Earth's water. Its name, Archelon. With a length of 16 feet and the width of 13 feet, this giant weighed over 10,000 pounds. This fossil was found in South Dakota in the 1970s and is only one of the many prehistoric sea turtle fossils found. Although the Archelon species has gone extinct, their closest relative, the leatherback sea turtle, still travels Earth's oceans. If people continue to build on precious nesting grounds and pollute their habitat, they will be gone from the planet for good. Luckily, there are organizations to help rescue injured sea turtles and monitor sea turtle nesting. Now we will hear from some sea turtle specialists. Hi, my name is Sue and I'm a volunteer here at Gumbo Limbo and I'm also a sea turtle specialist. And what that means is that we go out, we have a staff of people including myself, and we go out on the beach every morning and look for sea turtle nests. The main, sea, the main clue about the sea turtles and if they've nested or not is the type of tracks that we see in the sand. And then the disturbance in the sand tells us whether they nested. Sometimes sea turtles will come up and do what we call a false crawl. And that means they'll come up and for whatever reason they don't like the sand or they don't like the smell. And they'll just turn around and go back in the water without nesting. We can tell the different types of sea turtles that we have nesting on our beaches by the type of tracks that they leave behind us. Loggerheads like to crawl up like alligators do with alternating tracks. Green sea turtles like to come up and swim almost butterfly up the tracks. So they, their tracks are very parallel looking. So we can tell by the types of tracks which one has nested on our beach. We monitor five miles of the Boca Beach every morning. And once we see a nest, we actually uh, quarantine it off. We put a sign there to say that uh, don't disturb this area because there's sea turtle eggs in the sand. And it takes about 60 days for the sea turtles to nest, to, to um, hatch out. Once they hatch out, their normal routine is to go to the lightest part of the horizon, which is should be the ocean. But those people that are living close to the shoreline or in the condos or even over in Boca, if we have a lot of lights shining up, it disorients the sea turtles and they can go the wrong direct direction and they'll never find their way into the water. So if you want to help sea turtles, keep in mind that from March 1st through the end of October is sea turtle nesting season. So if you have bright lights shining up, we ask you just to turn your lights down or turn them off during that time so that the hatchlings, when they come up uh, to go to the water, they can actually find their home and, and go in the water and grow up to be big sea turtles. His name is Jonah, and the story is two summers ago there were fishermen out front here by the Juno Pier catching live bait. And they caught a whole tank full of blue runners about this big. And when they came back to use the bait fish, there was a little baby turtle, this big, swimming around with the fish. It was him. He had been eaten by one of the bait fish and spit back out again. So we had to call him Jonah for Jonah and the whale. And he's a loggerhead. He's just about two right now. This guy can live up to 80 years and get up to 350 pounds. And he'll be with us for like another year. And then we'll release him, we'll replace him with another turtle. Hi, my name is Stephanie um, from John D. MacArthur Beach State Park in Florida. And this is our baby loggerhead sea turtle. Um, he's about eight or nine months old. We acquired him from the Marine Life Center of Juneau Beach uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So it was a nice Thanksgiving gift, something to be thankful for. Um, loggerheads are one of the three species of sea turtles that nest on our beach. Um, we get the loggerheads, the green sea turtles, and the leatherbacks. But already we've had over a thousand nests. We, we average a thousand nests a year. Um, South Florida is one of the, the most um, populous places for the loggerhead sea turtle nesting. Um, the most common place, the most populous place would be 
a little island off the country of Oman in the Middle East. He's kind of flapping around right now. Sea turtles spend their lives in the water. Um, the females just come up when they, they lay their eggs, but other than that, the sea turtles are always in the water. Um, we don't know if this is a male or a female yet because it's too young to tell. Um, we won't know pretty much till he's an adult. Um, the way you can tell is the male has a longer tail. And he's, as you can see, pretty small right now. But <laughs> he's going to get bigger than this when he's an adult. Um, the adult loggerhead sea turtles, their shell length alone will be um, about three feet long, and they're anywhere from 200 to 300 pounds. They can really, you know, take a bite out of you. You can see his little mouth, it's kind of sharp at the top, you don't want him to bite you. The sea turtles, when they come to nest, um, they lay anywhere from 100 to 120 eggs in each, um, in each nest. They'll nest about um, once every two weeks in the season, and then they won't, they won't nest again for about two years. But the eggs are about the size and shape of a ping pong ball, and the shell is soft and leathery. It's not hard like a chicken egg, um, because the eggs are dropping. She digs a, a two foot deep hole into the sand, so the eggs are kind of falling on top of each other. So it's better for the eggs to be leathery so they don't break when they fall. This is a real sea turtle or piece of a shell from a hatchling, like it already hatched. And as you can see, it's you know a different consistency. Sea turtles, once they hatch, um, when they reach the ocean, they'll swim for 24 hours straight. It's called the swimming frenzy, and they want to reach the Sargassum Sea, um, which is off the coast of Florida. Right now, he's in this 400-gallon tank we have here. But um, we're actually in the process of constructing another tank um, where we're going to keep him until he's 45 centimeters, which is about a foot and a half long, just the shell. And then we can release him. No injuries, you know, he's perfectly releasable. But we just have to wait for him to get big enough because the sea turtles hatch all at once and it's kind of a safety and numbers thing. And right now, um, the sea turtles his age will be out in the Sargasso Sea, so we can't just, you know, release him on our beach because he'll be easy pickings. He's still kind of small for predators to uh, get a hold of him. And then we'll release him.